This is very important question. Again, in connection of uh, understanding the relationship between Tawheed and Risala. Some of our brothers asked that Almighty Allah has declared Himself to be Rauf and Rahim, the most compassionate and ever merciful. And the same attributes have been mentioned for Holy Prophet وسلم, also in Holy Quran. So the difference between the two. Let me explain. This is not only the matter of one attribute, Rauf or Rahim. Anybody wants to read this subject, this particular question in detail, I would refer my book, Kitab al Tawheed. This book is in two volumes, Kitab al Tawheed. This is volume one. In volume one, this is a full chapter which starts from page 488. 488. Almighty Allah has two kinds of attributes. One kind of attribute is known as khassa. Attributes are sifat of Almighty Allah. Or Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sifat. These are known as sifat, attributes. Then there is another category of attributes which is known as khasa. These are exclusive attributes. Some attributes of Almighty Allah has been declared to be in Sharia has been declared to be exclusive attributes. For example, you say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. His name, Allah, this is his exclusive name. Rabbul Alameen is his exclusive attribute. Now you come to next two attributes, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman is exclusive attribute, but not Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahim, ever merciful, and Ar-Rahman, the most magnificent. Ar-Rahman is an exclusive attribute of Almighty Allah. Ar-Rahim is a common attribute. Maliki Yawmiddin is an exclusive attribute. He is Ilah, the deity who is entitled to worship is an exclusive attribute. But Hadi, as I told, is a general attribute. So first of all, we have to differentiate between exclusive attributes and general attributes. Those attributes of Almighty Allah which are exclusive, they cannot be shared by His creature, by the khalq, whether prophets and messengers or the saints or other people among His creation. The exclusive means these are just reserved and confined to Almighty Allah for His Lordship and His First Godship. And there are many other general attributes of Almighty Allah, including Ar Rauf, Ar Rahim. Many other, which Islam has not declared to be exclusive for Allah. So those who are not khasa, exclusive, they can be shared 
by his khalq. Now the question arises, what does it mean sharing? So this is not a shirk. Almighty Allah bestows the same attribute to his makhluk, to his anbiya, to his rusul, messengers, to his prophets, to his creatures, to his angels, even to his human beings created by him. And they demonstrate on his behalf those attributes. They, they demonstrate on his behalf. For example, Almighty Allah is As-Sami Al-Basir. It comes in Holy Quran. As-Sami Al-Basir. These are the attributes of his hearing and seeing. But at the same time, these both attributes, Sami and Basir, they have been used, these words have been used for human beings. Fajallahu Sami Am Basira. Speaking, discussing the matter of the uterus and the when plantation takes place, an embryo comes into existence and then fetus come into existence. So at embryonic stage, step by step when organs are created and finally the organs of ears and internal and external ears and then eyes, when these organs are created, so Almighty Allah says, then gradually we make the man Sami Ambasira. And in Quran he says, Inna hu huwa Sami al Basir. So that's why we have to understand what is shirk and what is not. Commonly people, they misunderstand anything which is commonly used for Almighty Allah and His Prophet wasallam without differentiating between the exclusive attributes and common general attributes. The people say this is shirk, this is shirk. This is totally wrong. There are lot many attributes which Almighty Allah has given to His creation. And the difference between the two would be when He has the attribute, He owns on His own. He is the owner of that attribute. And he has not been conferred by somebody else. And that is limitless and endless. When he confers the same attribute to prophets and messengers and to human beings, then these are conferred by him and bestowed by him with certain limitations. So he is the giver and if he wants he can take them back. They are not the owners of these attributes. Owner is the creator. They, he is the bestower and he bestows and he grants these attributes to prophets and messengers to raise their position and to make them to demonstrate for his mercies and his things. For example, Al-Hidayah, guidance like a row for Rahim. Almighty Allah has made it common. He says, Yahdi man yasha. Almighty Allah provides the guidance. And he said for his holy prophet, Inna ka la tahdi ila sirati mustaqim. You also guide the people to the right path. Then the same word, Izza, glory. This attribute. Allah says, Inna la izfa inna la izza ta lillahi jamiya. The whole glory rests in Almighty Allah. Rests with Almighty Allah, the glory. But at the same place he said, وَلِلَّهِ الْعِزَّةُ وَلِرَسُولِهِ And the izza, the glory, is possessed by Allah and His Messenger. This is a common attribute, is being shared. And sharing means that when He is, when glory belongs to Him, it means He is the owner, exclusive owner of the glory. And nobody has conferred on Him. And that his glory has no limits, no beginning and no end. But when he confers the al-izzah, glory to his prophets and to his messenger, it means he has conferred onto them. And he has blessed them with this glory. And definitely there must be a limit from beginning and to end. Maybe the most expansion would be the biggest expansion in the whole world. But as compared to the attribute of Almighty Allah, 
it would be limited. In the same way, Quran says himself, Al-Haq, Almighty Allah is Al-Haq. Inna Allah huwa Al-Haq. And he says to Holy Prophet, Anna Rasul Haqqun. And Rasul Sallallahu is also Haqq. The true, the manifest. Then Allah says for himself, he is Al-Mubeen. Anna Allah huwa Al-Haqq Al-Mubeen. And he says for Holy Prophet, Kul inni anan nazirul mubeen. Qad jaakum rasoolun mubeen. The true and manifest messenger has come to you. In the same way, Almighty Allah himself, he says, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard. Nur. And for his prophet, he says, Qad jaakum min Allah nurum wa kitabu mubeen. Nur has come to you. So when he refers the attribute Nur, Rauf, Rahim, Rahmat, Hidayah to himself, it means he is the creator and his attributes are not created, they are Qadim. They are Qadim, no beginning, no end. And the attributes when he confers to the prophet or messenger, they are Hadith. They are limited like the creatures and they are given by Almighty Allah. So they are possessed by the prophets and messengers by Allah's bestowing and blessing. They are not owner by themselves. In the same way Allah says himself he is Al-Kareem. You say Rabbi Kareem. Don't you say? Ya yuhal insanu ma gharraka bi Rabbika Al-Kareem. The gracious Lord. And he says for holy prophet. Innahu la qawlu rasoolin kareem. That's why you write, rasul e kareem said this. So there are, Almighty Allah says, He is Azim, the most great. He says to Holy Prophet ﷺ, Inna ka la ala khulukin Azim. You have the most great virtues and morals. Allah says, He is Khabir, all aware. And He says to his, for His Prophet, Ar Rahman wa Fasal bihi Khabira. So Almighty Allah is Alim. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٍ And he says for his prophets and people وَفَوْقَ كُلِّ ذِي عِلْمٍ عَلِيمٍ Almighty Allah says he is Wali your friend and your master and he says for holy prophet إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ your friend and your master is Allah and his messenger so holy prophet is also our master some people think that you can't say. If they deny it, this is denial of Quran. Allah says, Allah is your master and his prophet and his messenger. So, these are in holy, in almighty Allah is Hamid and Mahmud. Mahmud. And he says, Yab asuka rabbuka maqama mahmuda. Holy prophet's place would be maqama mahmud on the day of judgment. So, there are about 27 attributes which I have mentioned in some of my books and these are in the, my book Kitab al tawheed also where Almighty Allah the same names, attributive names which Almighty Allah has mentioned about His person, attributive names the same attributive names have been mentioned for the Holy Prophet and the Holy Messenger So this is how we differentiate when attribute comes in the reference of Allah, that is Qadim, which has no beginning, which they were never created, they were never come to end, there is no limit, and He is the owner. When they are mentioned in case of the prophets, messengers, even the angels and human beings, it means they were given according to their stature, their need, their status, and they are created, they have limits, and they are being demonstrated these attributes by the people from Almighty Allah because Almighty Allah has conferred these things onto them.